how to install vocal presets in Ableton. This video is going to show you both how to install vocal chains and vocal templates into Ableton to easily recall them in the future. Let's say you just got done producing a fire beat and it's time for you or your vocalist to hop on the mic and record some singing. So let's install our lead vocal sauce chain from wholeloops.com on this vocal. Ableton uses a file format called .adg and lead vocal sauce comes in a version for every version of Ableton starting from version 9 and going all the way up to the latest version 12. And there's also different versions for sweet, light, intro, and standard. But since I'm using Ableton 12 Suite, I'm going to drag and drop this version right onto my vocal. And it loads up an entire chain of 100% stock Ableton plugins with eight simple macro knobs to help me dial in what I want my chain to sound like. You know Let's dive into the controls. I I know you got the body, the key to turn me on. Be a little bit I'm less on glue way. and low cut. Quarter note delay. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Fire. Let's try the half. Let's say you want to save your presets. You don't have to go back into Finder and drag the ADG file. All you have to do is click on this little icon right here and save the preset with a unique name. I'm going to call this Lead Vocal Sauce 12. And that way, you could simply go into your side menu, Audio Effect Racks, or just search for Lead Vocal Sauce 12 up here in the search, drag and drop it, and that gets you to exactly the same place. So you've installed your ADG file into the Audio Effects menu of Ableton by pressing this little Save icon. But as you can see, this is only a single vocal. A lot of songs have background vocals, ad libs doubles, and those all need their own special chains. So how do you import a vocal template into Ableton. A lot of people always ask us what's the difference between lead vocal sauce and vocal templates at imcare.com and this is the big difference. A template is multiple channels where each channel has its own designated processing and there's a great shortcut in Ableton to help you access a multi-channel template. So let's go down to the add folder button and we can go to the downloads where we have our care of vocal template saved from imcare.com and we're going to open up this vocal templates folder that we've created and now it adds vocal templates templates here in the bottom of our Ableton search. So an easy way to drag this in is to hold Command or Shift and drag and drop them right into your session. And now you've got a bunch of empty channels with chains ready to go, processing already on it, and you could just simply drag your work down onto one of these channels you just imported and get rid of your demo vocal channel. And what we're left with is a perfect vocal template here in the same exact session as our music production by simply dragging in your care vocal template or any project that you save that you like the mix from. This sounds fire. And you can adjust anything you like. So there you have it. How quick and easy it can be to open both vocal chains and vocal templates in Ableton by installing the presets into the side menu here for quick and easy access in the future while you produce. If you want to check out all of my vocal chains and all of Kara's vocal templates, I'll put links to both in the description below and catch you guys next time in another tutorial.